Former NBA star Dennis Rodman has returned from his third trip to North Korea this year, but without meeting his new pal, Kim Jong-un. Every friendship has its peaks and valleys. Rodman has formed an unexpected friendship with the country's leader, having been invited to stay and have dinner with him on numerous occasions. Friends is a mental state. Despite not getting to hang out with Kim this time round, Rodman is confident the pair will be reunited. No, nope, I'm not worried about it. I'll see him again. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. The retired basketball player spent four days in Pyongyang, coaching a North Korean basketball team for a friendly game against other former NBA stars next month. It was awesome, man. It's going to be playing in two weeks. It's going to be playing in two weeks. Don't forget, the court and the rules now, you understand? Yeah. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait a whistle, stop. chump. Ah! What's the matter with you? Go, wait, 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 Get in here. Play ball. Ready? The U.S. government has distanced itself from Rodman's visit, and he says talking about politics with the North Korean leader is not his place. I mean, if, if it happens that he wants to talk about it, great. If it doesn't happen, I'm, I just can bring it up. I mean, that's because I don't want him to think that, you know, I'm over here trying to, you know, be a, you know, ambassador and trying to use him as, you know, as, as being his, his friend. And then all of a sudden, I'm starting talking about politics. That's not, not going to be that way. I'm going to close my eyes and pray you disappear.